Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're taking a close look at English, the language that truly connects the world. Join us as we count down to the top 10 nations with the most English speakers, from India's lively streets to the Philippines' rich culture. Discover how English, the world's go-to language for everything from business to fun, breaks down barriers and unites us across continents. Ever wondered which places have mastered English the best? making it a key part of their daily life or a widely used common language. Stick around as we explore the leaders in English fluency around the globe. Number 10. United States. Of course, the United States cannot be missed from this list. The United States of America has about 225 million folks who call English their number one language, and there are more than 43 million people who use it as their second language. All in all, the United States has a whopping 268 million people chatting, working, and learning in English. Whether it's for work, school, or just everyday life, English is the go-to language. So, if you're thinking about making the U.S. your new home, getting cozy with English is a must. Living in the U.S. isn't cheap. On average, you might need around $3,000 a month to cover all your basics. And if you're looking to rent a nice place, think about setting aside about $1,500 every month. Thinking of a country where friendly vibes meet jaw-dropping nature and cities buzz with life. Can you guess which English-speaking country up north mixes French flair with vibrant multiculturalism? We'll reveal it soon. Number 9. Canada. Canada is known for being super friendly. This country is a mix of cities that buzz with life and quiet spots where you can hear the leaves whisper. Places like Toronto with its sky-high buildings and busy streets, and Vancouver with its breathtaking views and outdoor life are just the start. But Canada isn't just about its cities. It's also home to some of the most jaw-dropping nature you'll ever see. Think about the Rocky Mountains where peaks touch the sky or Niagara Falls, where water dances down in a powerful display. And let's not forget the Northern Lights. Watching them is like seeing the sky paint its masterpiece. Canada is pretty much an English-speaking country, and a lot of people there can also speak French well. It's right up north of the USA and mixes English and French in a way that's all its own. Places like Toronto and Vancouver are like big welcoming bowls of salad, full of different cultures. Then you've got Quebec, which brings a little French taste to the table. In Canada, English isn't just what people speak, it's a big piece of the country's colorful, many-sided quilt of cultures. On average, for a single person, monthly living expenses could be around $1,000 to $1,500. If you're in a big city like Toronto or Vancouver, these costs might lean towards the higher end because, well, city life is pricier. For renting in the heart of big cities, a one-bedroom apartment could cost you anywhere from $1,600 to $2,400 a month. If you're looking for something bigger or maybe a bit more peaceful outside the city center, prices can drop to about $1,200 to $1,800 for a good space. Number 8. United Kingdom. The UK is like a time machine. You can walk through ancient castles, stand where knights fought, and then zip back to now chilling in some of the coolest cities around. London's a big name, but places like Edinburgh, Cardiff, and Belfast will also steal your heart with their beauty and stories. English is the main language here, making it a breeze for a lot of us to get around and chat with locals. But the UK is not just about old buildings and talking. It's alive with music, sports, and festivals. The UK is known for its top-notch schools and universities, think Oxford and Cambridge. Plus, with its mix of cultures, you'll find awesome food from all over the world here. Living in the UK for a month can cost around $2,000 to $3,000, depending on how fancy or simple you keep your lifestyle. And if you're thinking about renting a place, a small home in the city might set you back about $1,200 a month. Prices can be higher in popular cities like London. But remember, you're paying for the experience in one of the world's most fascinating places where history and today meet. 
Number 7. Australia. Australia has sunny beaches, wild outback, and cities buzzing with life. This country is a giant island, actually the biggest in the world, and it's surrounded by oceans that sparkle under the sun. One of the coolest things about Australia is its mix of people and cultures. It's home to the oldest living culture on Earth, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, who've been there for over 50,000 years. That's a long, long time and their stories and art are absolutely amazing. In the cities like Sydney and Melbourne, you'll find modern life buzzing away. These places are famous for their landmarks, like the Sydney Opera House, and they're full of great food, art, and music. Whether you love chilling at the beach, exploring nature, or enjoying city life, Australia's got something for everyone. What makes Australia super cool is how they speak English. It's a lot like the English folks speak in the UK but with its special twist. They've got this fun way of talking called Strine. And it's as unique as Australia itself. Strine is all about playing with words, making them shorter, and sometimes just having fun with the language. It's a mix of jokes, clever changes to words, and expressions that might make you blush, but it's all part of what makes Australian English stand out. For a single person, think about having around $2,000 to $3,000 every month for your basic living expenses. Rent can vary a lot depending on where you want to live. In big cities like Sydney or Melbourne, a one-bedroom apartment in the city centre could cost you around $2,000 a month. But, if you move a bit away from the city heart, the price might drop to about $1,500. This country not only hosts one of the seven wonders of the world, but also bridges. Many languages with English creating a vibrant mix called Hinglish. Where is this, you might wonder? Stay tuned. Number 6. India. India is home to over a billion people. People here speak tons of different languages, but many can chat with you in English, especially in the big cities. This place is famous for its incredible landmarks. The Taj Mahal is like a poem made of marble, standing proud in the city of Agra. Then, there's the hustle and bustle of cities like Delhi and Mumbai, each with its own vibe and stories. This also has mountains that touch the sky and beaches that stretch out like endless ribbons of gold. You can find peace in the Himalayas or ride the waves in Goa. The food is very special from spicy curries that make you dance to sweet treats that cool you down. Every bite is an adventure. India has 125 million people who can chat in English, but only 226,449 folks use it as their first language. Here, not everyone speaks pure English. Instead, they mix it up with Hindi, creating something super cool called Hinglish. Even the important official stuff gets done in English. On average, you might spend about $400 to $600 a month for your everyday needs. In the big cities, a cozy spot can range from $200 to $400 a month. But if you're looking to experience life away from the city buzz, you could find something even more affordable. Number 5. Africa Africa has vast deserts that stretch as far as the eye can see, mighty mountains touching the sky, and wild jungles full of secrets. It's a place where you can wake up to the sound of lions roaring, spend your day surfing on some of the best waves, and end it by watching the sun set in a blaze of colors you won't find anywhere else. Life here is vibrant, filled with music, dance, and markets that sell everything under the sun. Over a billion folks call this place home, each with their own stories, dreams, and laughs. Loads of folks in Africa have picked up English as their second language, just like in other parts of the world. Altogether, nearly 237 million people in Africa can have a conversation in English. Africa is home to both bustling cities and serene landscapes. From the energetic streets of Lagos to the majestic mountains of Morocco, there's something for everyone. In cities like Nairobi, Kenya, you can live a comfortable life 
with about $1,000 to $1,500 a month. If you want to rent a nice one-bedroom apartment in the city center, it might set you back around $600 to $800 a month. But if you move a bit away from the hustle and bustle, prices can drop to about $400 to $600. Cairo, Egypt offers a different vibe but similar affordability. Living costs for a single person can range from $700 to $1,000 a month, with rental for a one-bedroom in the heart of the city costing about $400 to $500. Step outside the city center, and you might find something sweet for $300 to $400. Number four, Philippines. The Philippines has a rich history. Blending influences from Spain, the US, and local traditions to create a truly one-of-a-kind culture. You can walk down the street, hear music that makes your heart dance, and smell food that'll have you a sking for seconds. Speaking of food, you've got to try the local dishes. There's adobo, a savory, slightly tangy dish that'll make your taste of buds sing, and lechon a roasted pig that's crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. And for a sweet treat, Halo Halo is a must-try. A mix of crushed ice, milk, sweet beans, and fruit that's perfect for cooling down on a hot day. English is one of the official languages, making it super easy for travelers to get around, meet new friends, and dive deep into the local culture. Over 14 million folks in the Philippines can speak English. The Philippines offers English classes that won't break the bank, but are still top-notch. Because of this, loads of people from around the globe head there to learn English. This makes the Philippines not just a place with a lot of English speakers, but also a hot spot for learning the language. Living in the Philippines can be pretty wallet-friendly. On average, you might find yourself spending around $700 to $1,000 a month. And the food not only is it delicious, but eating out at a local restaurant could cost you just a few dollars for a meal. You could rent a nice one-bedroom apartment in the city for about $300 to $500 a month. Living outside the city center, the same apartment might cost you around $200 to $350 a month. And if you're looking for more space, a three-bedroom place in the city could be yours for about $600 to $1,000 a month. While outside the city, price drops to about $400 to $700. But wait, the next three countries we're going to talk about are going to grab your attention. Before we dive in, I've got a quick favor to ask everyone tuning in. If you could hit that subscribe button, it would mean the world to us. It's a huge boost for the channel. And if you do, my team and I will pull out all the stops to make this show even more amazing for you. How does that sound? Deal? Number 3. New Zealand New Zealand is tucked away in the corner of the world, made up of two main islands, and it's a place where nature's beauty is on full display. But New Zealand is more than just its landscapes. It's home to some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet, making it super easy to feel at home here. In New Zealand, English is widely spoken, making it the main language for most people. Roughly 9 out of 10 people in New Zealand speak English. That's about 90% of the population. This makes it super easy to communicate, get around, and make friends in this beautiful country. Whether you're in a bustling city or a quiet town, you'll find that chatting in English is the way to go. Plus, the Maori culture adds a rich layer of history and tradition to everyday life, making living here a unique experience. When it comes to the cost of living, you might spend around $2,700 to $3,500 a month. As for housing, if you're looking to rent a cozy place, the price can vary widely based on location and size. On average, for a one-bedroom apartment in the city center, you could be looking at about $1,400 to $2,000 per month. If you prefer a quieter spot outside the city center, the rent might drop to about $1,100 to $1,800 per month for a similar setup. Singapore is known for its incredible mix of Eastern and Western cultures. 
but what makes it a magnet for business and travelers? And how does English play into its global appeal? We're about to uncover the secret to its success. Number 2. Singapore Singapore is where the East meets the West in a vibrant dance of cultures, food, and languages. In Singapore, food isn't just food, it's a journey. From the spicy, tangy tastes of local dishes at a hawker center to the sophisticated flavors of five-star dining, your taste buds are in for a treat. Singapore is right in the heart of things, making it super easy to travel around. People love it here because life is good, the healthcare is top-notch, and if you want to do business, this is the place to be. Plus, it's like a mixtape of Eastern and Western vibes, all in a place where English rules. This makes it super cozy for folks from all over, whether they're here to work or chill in their golden years. Now, English isn't just a language here. It's the bridge that connects everyone. Whether you're in school, doing business, or just hanging out, English is your key to everything. This makes it super easy for folks from all around the globe to feel right at home. Living in Singapore is a bit like dining at a fancy restaurant. It's amazing, but comes with a price tag. For a single person, plan on spending around $2,000 to $2,500 a month to live comfortably. If you're eyeing a nice place to live without buying it, renting a one-bedroom in the city can set you back about $2,000 a month. Number 1. Ireland Ireland is a blend of ancient tales and modern vibes, making it a unique spot on the map. This place is famous for its super nice people, cool cities like Dublin, and wow-worthy green spots that'll make you want to stay outside all day. If you're thinking about school, jobs, or staying healthy, Ireland's got you covered with top-notch schools, lots of new job chances, and really good hospitals and clinics. Being part of the European Union, Ireland also makes doing business and traveling globally easy. And speaking of views, Ireland's landscapes are something out of a fairy tale. From rolling green hills to dramatic cliffs by the sea, it's an outdoor lover's paradise. In Ireland, nearly everyone speaks English. It's the primary language for most people, making it easy for English speakers to feel right at home. Alongside English, Irish, Gaelic, is also an official language and is taught in schools, but it's more commonly spoken in certain areas known as the Gaeltacht regions. You can rest assured that well over 90% of the population speaks English. This makes Ireland a very English-friendly place to live or visit. On average, living in Ireland for a month will cost you about $3,400. And if you're looking at renting a place, expect to pay around $1,600 a month for a nice apartment in the city. Not cheap, but for what you're getting, many find it worth it. If you found this guide helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the Discover Globe channel for more exciting content like this. Your support means the world to us and helps us bring you more awesome videos. Do you have any experiences or opinions about these places? Have you visited any of them or do you call one home? We'd love to hear your stories and thoughts. Drop a comment below and share your journey with us and the Discover Globe community. Let's keep the conversation going and help each other discover the perfect spot to live, retire, or simply explore. Thanks for watching and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.